Hey, my name is Brandy Magarva, and I have three wonderful kids that are 10, 2, and 4 months old. So some of the issues and problems I was facing was just um, overall mobility. It was painful to walk. It was painful to lift my children and play with my children. It was painful even get in and out of the car sometimes. I was pretty limited with my mobility and walking and getting around. Even getting in and out of the shower was painful. Getting dressed, I remember putting pants on was really <laughs> difficult and painful. I had some challenges there. So a lot of times I feel like with physical therapists, it can be very generalized. And I really appreciated that this was such a focused physical therapy program that it had came from a place of personal experience that you had your pregnancies and births and postpartum experience with running. So I felt comfortable knowing that I was getting help from somebody who had been through the same thing that I had. It really made me value the program and, and want to get the healing that I needed. So I think it just gave an overall good full body range of motion approach. And it really helped me not only with my pelvic condition, but it helped me with just everyday life too. It helped me with my shoulders and my back and just all over. It was a great program. Doing nothing didn't work. <laughs> Yeah, being, right. Being sedentary didn't work. Even my OB said, you know, just rest. SPD wasn't commonly heard of. Um, I yeah. had no idea about it until I had it, and yeah, um, until I was diagnosed with it, you're told to just rest. But you know, you've got to move, or your mm -hmm. joints and everything's just gonna get affected and get worse. Yeah, um, absolutely. You know, so if you're not moving those surrounding ligaments and, and doing the work to heal, it's just gonna cause further damage, possibly. So yeah, yeah, I would recommend. I mean, obviously, rest when you need to, but yeah, don't over, don't over rest. <laughs> yeah, finding that balance, right? Bef between yeah. like doing enough and not doing too much. So I have had the confidence to pick up my kids, take them to the grocery store, walk around, do everyday life, get to be a mom, enjoy spending time with my family. I had no troubles getting in and out of the car now. I played a couple games of volleyball, which involved a little bit of jogging too. So that was yeah. awesome. So that was probably a pretty big highlight. And just getting to be outside more. My daughter and I got to go on walks together and bond and spend time together. So that was really awesome to have that one-on-one -on -one, like girl time with her you know quality of life you can't really trade that for for much else I felt like I was just relieved to not be in pain um, mm. and even in the beginning of the program not as much pain and it felt good just to move like I would celebrate I would go outside and celebrate like oh my goodness I'm walking without a walker because I was using a walker I had um, SPD around 22 weeks pregnant and then I don't think I got diagnosed to like 24 weeks pregnant even after the birth and started the program with you. And so just, yeah. um, I keep my walker in my living room as a reminder to just keep going um, yeah. and keep doing the work because it's really benefited and the hope, you know, someday I'm going to be running like even 5K, you know, those 5Ks and stuff. So at the beginning of the program, I said when I was like in high school and stuff, I would be the kid that would skip the mile and I hated <laughs> running. <laughs> and now I want nothing more to do than to run because yeah. I know what it's like to be limited in movement and I don't want to go back to that again. Invest in your health, invest in your well-being, invest in yourself and your body because it's not only going to benefit you, but it's going to benefit those around you, um, your children, your spouse or your partner. Just invest in that time. You're never going to not get better by, by exercising. So just do it and enjoy it. Enjoy the process. Celebrate every little movement that you get to do because it is it's so worth it. Just keep coming back, just celebrating those movements every little step of the way and that there is hope and there is light at the end of the tunnel if you just do the work and listen to Rachel <laughs> and do the exercises. I feel so good to move again and just, right. yeah, just be in a good place of good health.
The first celebration I had, if I remember correctly, was just being able to to walk a lap and then doing laundry. But I was like, oh my goodness, like I can bend over and grab clothes and put them away and like help with dishes and like the things that you hate. I was like celebrating doing. Yeah. It was awesome. And it gives you more of an appreciation, you know, for the things that you have. And like I said, it benefits your family because my husband wasn't having to do all the, you know, work with cleaning the house and the kids. And, right. you know, I was like laid up and doing nothing. Yeah. So yeah, once I was able to, to do more, that took a lot off his load too. So yeah. it benefits everybody. 